Hi there. In this video, we'll discuss how to analyze functions numerically. For this first topic, we'll look at an example of a linear function. Uh, remember that a function is called linear if its graph is a straight line. Um, the equation I chose for this example is y equals 2x plus 3. And what I'll do is just generate a table of values um, for this function. Um, I'll choose simple values 1, 2, 3, and 4 as inputs and we'll write those functions in the formula, or write those values in the formula rather, and see what the outputs are. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. And 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So with inputs of 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, this formula produces outputs of 5, 7, 9, and 11. And one thing to notice um, as we begin to analyze uh, the table of values for this linear function, one thing to notice is that the y values um, are separated by two units each. In other words, the difference between consecutive y values is 2. And that's actually the key point uh, for this particular lesson. Um, so here it is written out for you. The table for a linear function will show a constant difference in the y values. And again, in this example, that whoops, that constant difference was 2. Uh, the word difference is being used because if you subtract consecutive y values, 7 minus 5, 9 minus 7, or 11 minus 9, in each case that difference is 2. Uh, looking at that statement in reverse, if you're confronted with a table that has that property, where the y values have a constant difference, you can be sure that that table represents a linear function. Hope that helps. We'll look at some of the other function types in the next video. Thanks.